students at the Yellowstone Boys and Girls Ranch are pouring their hearts into their assignment. Now that's because each batch of jam they ladle out helps veterans. Q2's Asia Gore shows us the partnership between the students and the veterans meat locker. Strawberry, then we also have blackberries. We started grapes. In the summer, this field behind the Yellowstone Boys and Girls Ranch is full of fruit. We had such a huge, I mean huge amount of fruit last year. I mean, Monday mornings we'd have to start six in the morning. We'd pick all day. That fruit made into jam by these students. And if we use citric acid, pectin, after that mixes for eight minutes, we use eight cups of sugar. In my opinion, I, I think I'm a pretty good jelly maker. I don't know if other people think so, but I, I think so. There's a sense of pride in this classroom kitchen where young adults faced you with adversity so. thrive. I dedicate them what I am, who I am now, because they did a really good job helping me learn really good skills. They say, take your time and do a really good job. Yes, it's going to seem forever, but it's going to actually work out in the long run. Skills these students share with veterans. From Jam for the Boys and Girls Ranch that we make out there, their students make. YBGR teamed up with Veterans Meat Locker, a Billings nonprofit that collects wild and domestic game, pays for processing, and delivers to veterans. We give each veteran about 15 to 20 pounds of meat free of charge. Um, it's all professionally processed, and they can call us every month, and as long as we have it, we give it to them. Chris Grudzinski and his wife started up the organization last year. We collected up and handed out 8,000 pounds to over 600 veterans in the first year. And now, veterans not only receive a bag of premium cuts of meat. We've got buffalo, we've got elk, we've got bison. They also get a little something sweet. When he told me that the the kids and them, all the work of picking and everything that they did to do this. And it was an honor for them to present this to us to give to more veterans. I mean, it was right in line, perfect with what the whole idea, what we were doing with the meat. Thank you. Did you get it? Yeah. This moment is about more than a meal. It's nourishment for the soul, a symbol of thanks. Thank you for your service. Appreciate it. For their sacrifice. My grandpas were in the Navy and the Army. Um, my dad's in the Air Force. It meant really a lot to me for doing this. I hate to say it, I get tired of doing a lot of the running around and everything I'm doing, but to see that these kids are willing to do this with all they've got going on in this program, that just does fuel me to do more and drive more and get more people involved and seeing if I can even get more veterans involved. In Billings, I'm Asia Gore, Thank you. MTN News. Thanks, Asia. Great story. And Asia tells us if you are a veteran or know a service member who could benefit from the giveaway, you can find the Veterans Meat Locker donation dates on its Facebook page.